The United Kingdom Home Office has announced that a student visa will now cost £490, a 286% increase from the previous fee of £127. A visit visa to the UK for less than six months will now cost £115, a 667% increase. The changes were announced in a statement published on the UK government's website following legislation being laid in Parliament. Now, the increase aims to pay for vital services and prioritise public sector pay rises. The review will take effect on the 4th of October. The changes include fees for up to six months to five- and ten-year visit visas, entry clearance fees, and certain applications for leave to remain in the UK. Other fees include indefinite leave fees, convention travel documents, health and care visas, certificate of sponsorship, and confirmation of acceptance for studies. The settlement priority service will reduce to align with the cost of using the priority service. Applications to register and naturalize as a British citizen and the fee for the so user pays visa application days. service have also been increased. We're now going to the UK where we have a guest uh, joining us right now. We have uh, Festus Tokumbo from Nottingham Trent University, United Kingdom. Many thanks for joining us, Festus. Thank you very much. Source of funding. Thank you very much. Hello, Festus, can you hear us? Good evening. Thanks for joining us on the news. Yes, I can hear. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on your show. All right. Uh, this recent development announced uh, by the United Kingdom kingdom uh, parliament and all of that uh, they did come to you as a surprise what exactly is going on i thought it doesn't come to it don't, it no one is surprised to me because about two months ago the british prime minister proposed a bid to the parliament to generate one billion pounds to support the nhs by increasing the fiscal i mean student fiscal fee and, and for the care workers as well so the british government is a good thing because they are going to be generating more money to support their economy but for Nigerian students and other students from other parts of the world, it means that they are spending more money to study in the UK. And the, the fact is that the visa fee is not a problem. The main problem with the Nigerian students that are aspiring to study in UK began say, about three months when, um, specifically since May, when President Trubu came become president and create some implement some macroeconomic policies that led to the Nigerian currency depreciated by over 50 percent to the british pounds the consequence of what was that was that most nigerian students are not able to fulfill the ambition of studying in the uk this year because it is very expensive compared to the the previous years and in, in 2022 the the multi-dimensional poverty index conducted on nigeria by the undp the the US of Oxford and Nigeria build the statistics. It shows that 65% of Nigeria are multidimensionally poor, of which 40.1% of their monetary poverty. So technically, the leading cause of poverty in Nigeria is, is monetary poverty. And monetary poverty is caused basically by currency crisis, with the consequence of macroeconomic misalignment. So government's most effective ways to address poverty is by creating microeconomic stability. The, the the increment in the in the student visa to the UK um, affected mostly the West Africa regions compared to other regions in Africa. This is because that is the regions with the weakest currencies compared to other basket of currency, and that is a consequence of the weak macroeconomic policies that have been implemented over the years in Nigeria. You know, in an ID society, the two most powerful, most important departments to address poverty, to stabilize the macroeconomies, is the Minister of Finance or the CBN. In Nigeria, since the era of President Obasanjo, those two departments have been highly politicalized. Appointees to those departments are basically on ethnic identities or, or religious affiliation. It wasn't based on technicality anymore. And you cannot 
develop an economy. You cannot address, address poverty through ethnic politics. You need strong policies. You need strong politicians. But, all right, first of all, if I have to um, bought in right now, what the new uh, laid out um, fees are to be paid for different categories of um, visas, let me ask specifically, how are Nigerians, uh, specifically in the United Kingdom, how are they reacting? Because somehow it also affects uh, those uh, who also reside in the UK or who may want to uh, get some sort of documentation for conventional travel and as well as uh, to get, um, you know, maybe their, their stay extended in the United Kingdom. Yeah, of course. It, it, I mean, it, it just so that it's not only so that they are coming from Nigeria, even students that are here already, it's just the they are spending more. And for example, you are still in the UK, when you are paying your tuition fees for many years, you pay to the CBN through record form A, we can they will use the official rate. Since President Buhar and Tinubu came on board, students cannot do that again. So that means you have to send them more. You can't buy pants at the official rate, which was about four, six something before. Now it's about 1,000 naira. So those for students that are here, they pay the money by the, I mean, the, with the black market rate. So generally, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a decline on their purchasing power, which means they are spending more in anything they do. So that's the other consequence, which is all a result of the macroeconomic philosophy of period of government in Nigeria. Now to stabilize the macroeconomy by creating, making it to the wealthy a very good rate to the US dollar or the British pounds. All right. All right. Thank you so much. We have been speaking uh, with some um, Festus Tokumbo, uh, a student with the Nottingham Trent University in the UK. Uh, he was speaking to us concerning the new uh, visa increment as announced by the United Kingdom government. Many thanks for being a part of the news, Festus. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.